Good morning, everybody. So what you up? We are stuck in traffic. Big traffic today. The driver got caught in traffic. Before he came here, now there's big traffic again. So we're about 10 minutes away from where we're going. Which, uh, we're going to go to two, maybe three places. Uh, first, we're going to be going to the Cafe Amazon near Seacon Square because I need coffee. It's a good place to sit down. Second, we'll be going, at least I think we'll be going to the Moon, what's it called? Moon Crypto and NFT Cafe just to check it out. And then, time permitting, we'll go into Seacon Square. So, bear with me for another 10 minutes or so. And uh, once we get through this little patch up ahead, uh, traffic should lighten up. But this is what it's like in the mornings. And this is why, when I complain, on the rare occasion I complain, I complain about traffic and pollution. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Carlos. Good morning, Johnny Siam. Good morning, good morning. Swadika. Swadhi, Swadhi. An idea where I am. Samitivich, Sri Nakalian Hospital. If you take this road over here, and up ahead is the airport link that just went by. But uh, because of all the construction, uh, there's been a lot more traffic here in the past <laughs> two years. Count the days. I love it. It's not too much longer. It'll go by quickly. Time flies. But you can see, barely, should be able to see. Uh, this is the monorail that they're working on. And uh, I'm not sure when it'll be done. It was supposed to be done this year, but now I don't know. There's another delay because supposedly because of the pandemic. So, uh, but good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. As I've said about 20 times already. Good morning. And so what you to everybody. It's uh, a little bit after nine o'clock. It's actually a pretty cool day today. Humidity is only about 77%. Uh, Thai bot is, uh, Thai bot is 32, I believe it's 32.45 to the dollar, which, uh, you know, the dollar's regaining a little bit on the bot, but still not enough. It needs to get over the 33 mark. Nasty area for construction here, this Sinakarin Road. I figured if I left an hour early, 50 minutes early, I'd be about 20 minutes early and it's not turning out that way, obviously. So, but this is, this is Bangkok. Big traffic in Bangkok. Big traffic in the Big Mango. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about some rules to remember before you come to Thailand. We're going to be talking about a few things going on uh, in the West versus East. As always, I like the comparisons. And uh, like I said, we'll be out and about at Seacon Square. For those of you who don't know Seacon Square, it's on the way, a little bit on the way to uh, Suwanapum Airport. And let's see here. Let me give you some of the specifics here was opened 
28 years ago, 1994. talking about Jim patiently awaiting today's fifth day test yeah, I wouldn't count on them uh, relinquishing that fifth day I mean if they do I'd be surprised and the reason is because they raised now Thailand is level four again uh, however they're saying no more lockdowns or whatever um, you know, so I would not count on anything changing at the moment because of the rising number of cases and actually some, some the rising number of deaths. Uh, you know, there's still not a whole lot of deaths. I mean, I guess if it was me, maybe, well, I wouldn't be concerned. Uh, but I, would, I don't know that they're going to get rid of it right away. I don't know that today or in the next week, they're gonna say, okay, let's get rid of it. I think they wanna see this Omicron thing stabilize. Lots of, lots of uh, construction. Lots of construction. Yeah, but see, the thing is that the travel industries um, really have no power. <laughs> they have very little power. Obviously, the government doesn't really care all that much about what's happening. You can say that they care. They may care from a personal standpoint, they may care what happens to people, but from the, from the standpoint of the country, um, when there are an, ex an, a, an increasing number of Omicron every single day, um, then I, I just don't see them letting up right now, whether the, the uh, tourism industry cares about it or not whether they complain about it or not i mean let's face it they want uh, wealthier individuals to come in they're getting that uh, generally you know people who have a little bit of money are the ones who are coming now they're they're not the ones who can't afford to pay uh three hundred dollars or whatever it might be for for the first night and uh and you know it's just the way that it is I don't particularly like it, I don't agree with it, but from the standpoint of what's happened in the past and how uh, the, the government has acted in the past, I'm gonna say, don't count on it. The fifth, the fifth, uh, te the test on the fifth day, really, you know, to some people it's like, all right, so, you know, it's not a big deal. But to some people, it is a big deal. And the problem is that they've come out and said, hey, we've caught a lot of cases on that fifth day. You may not catch it on the first day. You may not have it on the first day. But on the fifth day, uh, they're catching people that have it. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, you know, hopefully I'm wrong, but I, <laughs> I don't know. We shall see. Right, now we're making a little better time. Let's see, people are out and about. Coffee shops everywhere. not been to Seacon Square in many years. I haven't been in it. I have never been to this Cafe Amazon, so I have absolutely no clue of what it's like. 
not that it really matters, but you can see the construction. And I believe this is the BTS, whereas the one in front of the uh, Bunkaby Mall, Mall Bunkaby is uh, MRT Skytrain, which most people are not aware of, but it is not the BTS. Good morning, Mr. Gennaro. Good morning, everybody. You can see it's smooth sailing right now. We should be there in about five minutes, two minutes, three minutes. I don't know. going we hit Bang Na. Aspirin is not going to give you a death sentence, so please. And there's a reason why you do your research before you come to a country, whether you're traveling or whether you are moving to a country, you do your research. Bienvenido. Buenos dias. you're going to see in one moment. Cafe Amazon, no? Huh? Non Cafe Amazon. Good job, man. Sit when I'm on it, not there. Amazon go you can not come. Oh, I call bird. I don't know if the Seacon Square opens at uh, at uh, ten o'clock or eleven o'clock or ten thirty. I'm not sure because uh, because of the pandemic, they they may have changed the hours. It used to be ten o'clock. It's right up ahead. You people, you can not get deal. My Lou. See, now he goes past, and I've got to come back. Paradise Park up here. I specifically put in where I wanted to go for a reason. Mm. 
here's a little coffee and bakery shop. I have to remember that just in case. ครับคุณมีทีอยู่ข้างในนะเอาเมตอนเหรอครับครับมาดูอยู่ข้างในครับเมตอนอยู่ข้างในครับเอาว่าเค้าเบิดเอ่อ 7:00 น. This guy's not going to know. Maybe he does. Okay. 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 What are you waiting for them to do, Jim? Drop the the fifth day? Is that what you're waiting? Yeah, it's both you you can I can eat. In the Amazon. Okay, so you can eat. Okay, go. Thank you very much, Gennaro. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, one hell of one hell of a coffee shop here. Fantastic ambiance. <laughs> I'm being facetious. You know, if, if the if the if the mall was open. I could have just told the guy to turn around and go back to that little uh, cafe. Anyway, let's see here.
Here we are. Thank you for the round. I appreciate that, Carlos. Now, let's see. Choke D to you. Now, let me see if I can... Uh... Listen, I have to say, I don't usually have problems with the grab drivers. But this guy today, in like... I waited, it said seven minutes to get to my place, okay? Now, you know, I got a schedule. I'm trying to start at nine o'clock. So it was eight o'clock when the guy comes and picks me up. I'm right here, it's okay. Just bring it to me right here. Honey. Guess what you get here? Paper. No ceramic in this joint. We're going low, so. Anyway, so I think the guy's gonna be here in, you know, seven minutes. He's not moving, he's not moving, he's not moving. And I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna put my phone down. Like 10 minutes later, I go over, because, you know, usually they'll call. I figure he's not gonna be there in seven minutes. And I come back and it's like eight minutes. And then like, I get a message from him. I'm gonna be another 20 minutes. I said, just cancel it. He says, no, I can't cancel, you have to cancel. So I go to cancel, and it says, you need to pay 30 baht, which is only a dollar. But out of, but out of principle, I'm like, no, I'm not canceling it. I don't wanna to have to waste the time to go back and contact them and ask them to give me a refund. It's just ridiculous because I, I, I had it to where it was going through my bank account, through my card. So I told the guy, no, I can't, I'm not gonna cancel it because it's gonna cost me. If you can cancel it, then that's better. He says, I can't. Now, I vaguely remember them being able to, to, to cancel. Thank you, you're alive. Yes, it still fits me. And coffee, what does it say? Give coffee. I don't even know what the hell it says. Give me coffee or give me death. So anyway, the guy's like that. And so I said, well, listen, here's the deal. I'm not waiting and I'm not paying. <laughs> I was just gonna go out. In the meantime, I try to get an in driver. In driver is quite a bit cheaper, it's about 50 baht cheaper, which I don't really care about. I mean, I do, but I don't. I try to get an in-driver and it says, there's many, many, uh, many, many cars right now that are needed, so uh, raise your price. So I start raising my price, nobody's nobody's biting. I just said, fuck this, screw this. I, I go back to the grab, the guy still hasn't moved. I'm like, I tell him, I'm going outside, I'm gonna go get a taxi. No, 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 please, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, uh, if you're, he's like, just wait. If you're not gonna cancel, just wait. And I'm like, I'm not canceling. Out of principle, I'm not canceling. So I get my stuff, I start going out, and I see that he is now zipping along at a great pace. And he is like two thirds of the way to my place in like a minute. And I'm like, you said it was 20 minutes. Now it ended up taking about 25 minutes for him to get there. But in the scope of things, it's not a big deal. It's just the principle of Grab charging you money because their guy can't get you and you don't want to, uh, you know. You don't, want to, you don't want to take their cab because it's going to take 30 minutes for them to come pick you up when it initially said it'll take seven minutes. So that's something you got to be careful about with Grab. If you use the cash option, which I almost never do on Grab, you know, I have one of my accounts set up and it's basically just for my traveling, for, you know, traveling by uh, BTS, by MRT, for uh, the taxi. And so, uh, you know, I decided, okay, I'm gonna wait. So I wait, 
I get into a taxi, the guy doesn't say one word to me, and I don't say one word to him. I'm like, you know what? It's on him. Oh, you know, I'm sorry, big traffic, da, 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 whatever it is. No, it doesn't say one word to me. So I said, okay. So that's why when he comes over, he goes, where's the cafe Amazon? I go, you got the address in the, in the app. I'm like, what are you asking me for? I've never been here before. So, you know, most of the time, Grab is very good. Now, I could go and leave him like one star and ruin his 5.0 rating, but I'm not that vindictive. I'm not gonna go do that. I just won't, I won't leave anything. You know, conveniently forget. Which is probably what a lot of people do. You know, you might have a 5.0 rank, but anyway. Let's get to what we're talking about. I don't know what time this place opens up. I'm gonna have to ask them what time Seacon Square opens up. And I'm trying to think here which direction. Let him pull it out. I'll take my chances. I saw him and I wasn't worried. I wasn't thinking this guy's gonna get violent. And that's one of the rules that you live by, Gennaro. You don't, and you know, I've really had to check myself here and as I've gotten older because it does nothing but, it will do nothing but harm you to get aggressive. If, they, if you get lucky, you can knock a guy out and nobody's looking, there's no cameras and boom, you know, oh yeah, hey, I knocked the guy out. You know, I finished him, but you know, who's that for, you? I mean, if it's self-protection, that's one thing. Otherwise, you're gonna get caught on camera. They're gonna come after you. They will come after you. They will catch you. So, it's not worth it, you know? Anyway, especially this, this was not worth it. I mean, you know, I would have just told me, let me out at the little place over there if you couldn't find it. But I knew that it was up here, so not a big deal. Anyway, let's go on here, I need my glasses. Cheers. Uh, before I go on, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe. I do have a new hoodie uh, on my uh, on my merchandise page. There's a link down below. You can click it. There's a hoodie. I think it's available in black, navy blue, royal blue, and up to size XXL. So, you can help me with that, you can get a book, you can go down in the description, you can do the super chat, or you can help me reach my goal, which right now is 50. I want 50, I want to get 50 members in my channel. Right now I have 32. Trials of, I, I like the, the, the triangle tribulations. Or the trials and tribulation of the triangle. Well, who knows why they do what they do. Anyway, uh, don't forget that. Uh, and the, uh, I'm trying to get, by the end of the month, I'm trying to get at least one or two more people on my Patreon. And um, also, one of my goals is to get the 50 members through YouTube. You can get membership, you can help me out, $1.99. That's not even, well, actually, this is like, what is this, it's about 30, this is 35 bots, so it's $1.10 or something. But, okay, for the price of a normal coffee in a coffee shop that's not like Cafe Amazon, uh, you know. It'll, it, the dollar ninety nine is cheaper than it would cost to get a cup of coffee. So, anyway, I'm not going to continue. I'm just stumbling all over myself today. Uh, anyway, so let me go on about this Seacon Square, and then we'll get to the topic at hand. Uh, let's see here. It is one of the Seacon Square is one of the longest malls in Thailand at five hundred meters long. Four hundred plus stores. 500 square meters, uh, opened in 1994, and nearby they have the Dusit 
Princess Sinakarin, Go-Kart Track, Paradise Park, which is where I am right now, a driving range, and the Rotfi Night Market, which is open from Thursday to Sunday from 5 to 12 o'clock. Uh, there was also at Seacon Square, there was a, I don't want to say it, but there was a big one, supposedly, well, it's not that big. I guess it's all relative, but uh, in 2006, uh, somebody planted one, and they went ahead and disposed of it. Let's see what else here. Uh, yeah, before I get into this 12 rules thing, I gotta say that, you know, if anybody has seen Sex in the City, the show, you know it's kind of a chick you know, empowerment kind of a show where, you know, hey, chicks are allowed to go out and get laid and this is this is relationships from a woman's standpoint and okay, which is fine, right? And women are allowed to go and get laid. They, they can do whatever they want, right? They just gotta suffer the consequences. Now, that show was signed, you know, like, eh, it, it had its little moments. It was a cute little show. It was funny, you know, but it was a chick show. Now they have a new one out. It is called, and just like that. Granted, this is, you know, of course, this is coming out of the machine. And when Megan McLean, is it McLean? McCain, sorry. Megan McCain, I think she used to be on The View. When she comes out and says, a show is too woke, and wokeness kills everything. That tells you where we are. I watched a couple of episodes of this and it was horrible. I mean, you've got the stereotype. I'm not even gonna get specific, but you should know that at every single opportunity when they can insert something that will contribute to that movement, they do that. And why? You got me. That's the million dollar question. Um, I don't know if anybody knows this, but back in, I think it was 1974, George Carlin um, did a little sketch on Harley Davidson theme restaurants and how it's the pussification. This is the pussification of America and men because they're allowing people to do these things. And when a Harley Davidson goes in that direction, you see what where the direction of society in general. And just about two weeks ago, the US Congress gave final approval to legislation ensuring anyone harassed, you know, like sex, at work, conceive, seek legal redress. Okay, well, I don't understand why that was a problem in the first place. Men in the in the in the West are becoming in, increasingly restricted and shackled, um, and now this is being placed. This is a law, actually. That, and so, my my only concern here. It's not that, you know, if some guy goes in and it's blatant and, you know, he's using his power and all that kind of stuff. All right, I understand. I can relate, ladies, for all the ladies who are watching right now, which there's probably, you know, 1% maybe. Uh, but if it's just some guy going, hey, honey, you look nice today. Hey, Julie, you're looking wonderful. That dress really makes you look good. Hey, I'm going to Pattaya. Oh, let's let's throw the book at him and report him for doing something he's not. That's where we are now. At least in the West. We're not like that here. And you know what? That's a good reason to come over here. Now let's get let's get to some of these uh, Let's get to some of these uh, 12 rules. Now, these are not all the rules. If you want all the rules, I'll write a book on it. I'll put 200 rules 
into a book, and then hopefully that will encompass everything, or 500 maybe. Uh, I just said it, aggression, no place for it here. Maybe in the United States when somebody gets in your face, you can crack them. Nobody's gonna get in your face here unless it's a foreigner. Then you might wanna crack them. Uh, but you know, most ties are not aggressive, and they don't get aggressive unless you get aggressive. Um, <laughs> so that's one of them. Now, remember something else. You know, and granted, I'm saying this, and I have some Thai friends. You know, they're not real close. They're usually uh, family, right? Um, you know, the ones I have are family, for the most part. Or friends, like, you know, wives of my, my buddies or something like that. Um... But even if you live here and ingratiate yourself into the society, even if they tell you, oh, oh, you are Thai people now, you are always going to be an outsider. If not for any other reason, then your skin color is different, you come from a different place, and you are not Thai. So when you come over here, I don't care if you're a tourist, who's been here 50 times and you know, oh, I know it like the back of my hand, I speak Thai, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you are an outsider, and, and if it's us against them, you, you are us, they are them. That's how it works. As painful as that might be to uh, understand. Now, this applies to, especially to women, but also to men who don't understand why things are done. This is Thailand, this ain't America. Just like the, the, the chowder head, this bumble brain, who was giving me a hard time because I was teasing some girl at the pork stall. Oh, I bet you don't have a boyfriend. Oh, he's harassing her. Ugh. This is Thailand, man. This is not America. This is not, you know, Germany. This is not some place where, what was it that I saw? Did somebody send me this? Or I don't remember where it was, but I think it was yesterday, um, but it was somebody, I think I, maybe it was Patia Bomb that sent it to me, I don't know, he's always sending me stuff, or maybe it was Long Ones. Uh, I'm trying to think who it was, but anyway, apparently there was a girl sitting at a Starbucks, and some older guy came over and started talking to her. Now, I don't know how he was talking to her. I don't know if he got animated about it or whatever. What he was saying was, was not clear. They didn't make that specific, but Starbucks, Starbucks, one of the employees actually came by and gave her, the girl, a free hot chocolate with a note attached and it said, if this guy is bothering you, lift the lid of the, of the, uh, chocolate, hot chocolate, lift, lift the lid, take the lid off. So, is that where we are now? If somebody comes over and talks to you? What about if a woman comes over and talks to a man, and I don't want her to talk to me? Is that okay? Then can, will they do that for me? Because if they're going to do it for, for some girl who's sitting down and there's a guy standing there just talking to her, maybe he's trying to make polite conversation. This is the, this is First world shit, man. When I see this shit, it, it, it rubs me the wrong way. Really. Uh, okay, let, let me just get, before I go on in this, I gotta say, uh, the CCSA, uh, you know, they have, they have um, declared Thailand a level four now, as opposed to level three, because of what's going on. The spokeswoman, Episamai Sri Ramson, said it is unlikely to bring back lockdowns, but Thailand still cannot afford to relax the virus curbs in the same way as other countries. Um, we have to come up with our own approach. So, I'm gonna wager a bet. I'm gonna say they're not gonna release that fifth day, uh, at least for a couple of more weeks, maybe a month. Until, at least until this thing slows down here. All right, let me go on here. These are the rules. Don't get violent. Don't get aggressive. You don't need to do that. 
uh, you will always be an outsider. This is Thailand. This is not your country. They don't have to do things the way that you do. Okay? Now, the next thing is remember that Thai people are wired differently from Westerners. Just like uh, somebody in Europe, they live in, in the Scandinavian countries, may be wired differently than somebody from Canada. I don't know about Canada. Maybe that's not the best example. Um, what is this? Coconut girl? Mm -hmm. Pork stall girl. She disappeared. I don't know. She doesn't. She probably is working there. She's a young, young, you know, young chick. She's probably working there. You know, who knows what happened to her? I, I have no idea what happened to her. I saw her when I, I would walk through the market. Every once in a while, I'd walk through the market, and I would see her, and I would say, so, "Hey, hello," you know, and then she, "Oh, you can speak, you can speak Thai. Why can you speak Thai? You speak Thai very well. Why can you speak Thai?" This kind of stuff. That's how I knew her. It was easy. You know, it's like this. This is something else. Maybe I should add this to this list of rules. You don't need game when you come to Thailand. Uh, if you're coming just to have fun and run around and hit the bars. You don't need game. You need to be decent looking, you know, present yourself halfway decently, have a little money in your pocket, and, you know, be a halfway decent person. And I say halfway decent because there are people who aren't decent and they don't have any problems. Um, now, you know, if you're somebody who's going to be here and you're, gonna, you're staying here for a year, or you're moving here or whatever, and you really want that, well then, you know, yeah, you're going to need some game, for sure. Unless you're getting the bottom of the barrel. You know. Then you're not going to need game, you're going to need money. And money goes a long ways, but it doesn't take care of everything here. Especially if you're, uh, you know, sloppy and butt ugly. Money can only take you so far. It could take you a long way, don't get me wrong. But, uh, all right. Separate your emotions from the reality. And this kind of ties in with This is Thailand. Separate your emotions from the reality. When you come in here, and this girl, listen, she might be great looking. She's a little farm girl. She just came off the farm from Con Can. She's a little, what do they call them? LBFM. She's one of those. She's got the tasty trying. And she's trying to put you through the tribulations of her trying. Uh, some of them are some of them are just decent people. They're just decent, and they're just looking to make some money. They need to take care of themselves, their family, their kid, whatever. Uh, some of them, they are flat out mercenary, and uh, if you if you give in to them and you let yourself get emotionally drawn in by them, uh, then you deserve everything you get. You know. Like I was talking about the other day, and I gotta go back and find this. I gotta go back and find some of these old letters that I got. But the one guy, he was an Aussie guy, and he came to Phuket, I think it was, went into a massage parlor, and I guess the girl, I don't know if they had sex or if he just, she just gave him a hummer or whatever it was. But he believed the whole, I've never done that before. And you know you're so it's you're so handsome your your charm and uh, magnetism from the first uh, uh, from the first minute that I saw you it just swept me off my feet it was too much for me so I had to insert my your uh, your member somewhere. Yeah, they're, they're all after a better life, and you can't blame them. You can't blame the girl. That's the thing. You know, don't hate on them. Now, 
you know, if you just tell yourself right away, and this is one of my other rules here, it's business, don't get emotionally involved. If you know that going in, you're gonna have to look that one up yourself, you know, or I'm not gonna say what it is. I'm trying to refrain from foul language on this channel here. I think it might be harming me. Um, if you go in and you know, hey, it's a business deal. That's what it is. It doesn't mean she's not a great girl. It doesn't mean you can't, you, you know, you can't like her. Uh, you can't have some feelings for it. it. Doesn't mean any of that. Just know it's a business deal. That's it. And you know, most relationships with Asian women. Yes, there's an element of love, attraction, all that other stuff, but you know, it's about, hey, if you want to get involved for a lengthy period of time, it's a different kind of re uh, business relationship. There is more than one type of relationship involved. But for most guys who are just coming over here to have some fun, it's purely business. Don't let it get to be more than that. And if you do, it's because you know the game, you know what it's all about, and you're willing to do so. And I know several guys who, they don't have any problem separating that. They know that they've got to keep their emotions in check. Now, sometimes the girls will try to use emotion to elicit certain responses from you. You know, but it's business. I'm just gonna put it that way. It's very clear. I said separate your emotions from the reality. Uh, uh, have boundaries. Before you come over here, make sure that you think to yourself, I need to set my boundaries. What are my boundaries? If I am going to take a woman out, I am not going to take some chick who um, you know, I, I met her in Rainbow, a go-go, or something like that. I'm not going to take her shopping for gold, you know. I mean, very few people are successful. I think it's, I think it's important that you realize that these women... They are raised in a different way than women in the West. From the time they are small kids, they are raised, basically they are raised to make men feel good, take care of men, uh, whether it's their father, whether it's um, their brother, whatever, you know, they serve the food, they do. This is what the majority of families are like. Um, that doesn't mean that, that they're raised to be beneath men or anything like that. It doesn't. There, there are families that are modern here who, you know, they don't believe in some of the things that took place in the past, but uh, make sure you got boundaries, okay? And with boundaries, this goes along with boundaries. Be capable of saying no. Uh, it's very easy, you know, I, the other day I said, oh, you know, I got these old ladies or, or some of the younger uh, chicks when I would come to the bar. I remember the first time that I came to Thailand, um, the girl came over and starts giving me a massage and then she handed me a wet cloth and started patting my, my head and I was, I was hot. It was very hot. And I thought to myself, oh, this is fabulous, you know. And I didn't realize, like, you know, She's doing that for a reason. It's not because she wants to be so kind. Yes, she wants to be kind. She wants to give you a, a good feeling. Because that opens your wallet. Give her a tip. Give her 100 baht. Give her 200 baht. Whatever it might be. Um, but so be capable of saying no. Because if you're, in the, if you're in a bar and some girl has been massaging you for 30 minutes and then you leave. All right, granted, some people don't give a shit. And you know, really, why should you? She's doing it, you know, but, but knowing this when you go in, you can say no. You can say, you know what, no thank you. That's all right. Just, I wanna be alone, honey. Let me talk to my friend. Whatever it is.
Can you hear this? Thank you. Uh, okay. I said be capable of being, of saying no. Okay. Here's another one that somebody mentioned in the beginning. And I say this, um, and, you know, this is coming from someone who, in my day, I, I, did, I did use. I, I smoked weed. I did all kinds of stuff. I, you know, I did damn near everything. Um... But that was a long time ago. If you're in Thailand, especially if you're a tourist, you know, put, you don't need to be puffing birds and don't, don't get involved with these, these uh, bar girls who are um, using the yaba. That's not a good thing to be doing here. Um, if the girl's using the yaba, man, you just go, listen, honey, I, you know, I gotta go to the bathroom and you take off. You know, I'm out of here. You leave. You don't need to be around it, man, because if you get caught, your life is going to be miserable for who knows how long. So stay away. Just stay away, especially if you're a tourist. You're a tourist. you got no business worrying about that. If you, if you really need it that bad, then you better go and get some help before you come over. All right. Here's another one, and people could learn a lot about this. They could, if they just did this in life in general, not even coming to Thailand, be decent. Don't be a douchebag. You are not better than the Thai people. You are not better than the Thais who you're talking to. I don't care if you got more money than them. I don't care. You know, listen, you might think you're smarter than them, but they might be better than you in other ways. So nobody's bashing you for how, how you are. So why would you have an attitude with them and you'd be surprised at how many foreigners have this kind of better than mentality they have this mentality that they're better than ties and you know something that got me thinking a long time ago and made me shut my mouth a little bit more is I started thinking about hey if uh, you know if if somebody, let's say there's a guy and he's 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 just screwing, he's screwed up, and he, I don't care if he's a driver or whatever he is, but he's just not, he's somebody who's, who's waiting on you, or, and he's not the brightest tool in the shed. You know, I thought to myself, hey, just like my kids, this guy is somebody's kid, and there's no reason to give him shit. Get what you want, do what you gotta do, but don't be a douchebag to the guy for no reason. Um, and, and don't be a douchebag anyway. You don't need to be. And if you come here and you don't act that way, then you won't have any problems here. 99.99% .99 of the time, you are not gonna have any problems. Um, well, yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is, is that most guys can't put themselves in their shoes. And I'll tell you what, uh, many years ago, uh, when I was up in Udon Thani, I was flying out uh, to go back to Bangkok, and I met this girl. She's sitting in the, in, you know, in the airport terminal in Udon Thani or whatever it was, in the airport. And... And I see her, and I'm like, man, she's cute. You know, I'm giving her the eye. She's giving me the eye. So I'm like, hey. I go over there. I'm like, hey, what's happening? You know, how, you, how are you? Where are you going? And I start talking to her, you know. So she gives me her phone number, and I'm like, oh, okay. What are you doing? What do you do? I have to go back to work. I work in a factory in Chonburi. I said, oh, okay. I, you know, I, I believe believed her, at, uh, you know. From what she said, I just go, okay, yeah, whatever. Now, I don't know, but I'm like, yeah, what, do I, what does it matter to me? It doesn't matter. Eventually, I called her up. I met with her. You know, and, uh, you know, it didn't take long, and, you know, we were involved. 
and I said, so don't you have to work? And she said, well, yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, I gotta go back to work. And turns out she was working in Pathia. And I was like, oh. I said, eh. I said, listen, I gotta go. You know, I have to leave. I gotta go back up to Udon Tani. I said, when are you gonna be back up there? And she goes, well, if you want, I'll go up there with you. I said, okay, let's go. So I think we took the bus and went up there. And it just turned out that she lived not far from where I was staying with her, I've told this story before, with, um, she lived with her mother and her older sister, and I don't remember if the father was in the picture. Now, you know, I, I had a little apartment in the, uh, well, it was actually a big apartment. It was a Thai style apartment in the, in the middle of town. And this is, a, this is a long time ago. This is like 26 years ago. I knew very little Thai. I mean, my Thai wasn't very good at all. And so, you know, we're doing our thing. She's coming over. She'd come over like every other day to my place. And, and uh, you know, I wasn't giving her any money. And then I was like, I started thinking about it. And I thought, well, she's working in Patti. You know? I said, listen, let me, you know, I'd give her 500 baht, 1,000 baht, whatever. Here, let me give you a little something. And so she said, listen, why don't you come over to my house? We're having a little party. And so, and I, again, I've told this story before. I don't know if how many people will remember it, but I go to this house. It's out in a village. And, like, the half of the floor was missing. It's a, you know, it's up on the stilts or whatever, and half of the floor is missing, and, like, one, one wall was missing. And the thing was old. It was an old wooden house. And I'm like, oh, this is where you live? Yeah, this is where I live. And I was like, oh, wow. You know. Uh... And so I started looking and I saw that there was some wood stacked up over a ways away. And I said to her, um, what's that wood? Oh, well, that wood is the wood that I bought since I started working in Pathia so that we can build a new house. And I mean, you know, her, her house was, it, it was, you know, barely livable. Obviously, you know, they, they're exposed to the elements people could see into their house. But you know, they were fine, right? And she started pushing me, you know, hey, can you help me finish this house? Can you help me finish this house? And I'm like, no, I can't. And I could see her pulling away when she realized I'm not going to be her savior. And then that night at the party, um, I told this story before, her sister, came up to me and her sister was drunk. You know, they're drinking Lao Cow and we we're just, you know, having a good time. Uh, sister gets drunk. I'm off, I don't know what the hell I was doing. And she, the sister comes up to me and she says, hey, how about we go behind the house? And basically she was saying, I'll give you a Hummer for a, 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 a thousand baht. I think it was a thousand baht. And I said, I don't think your sister would like that. And she's like, no problem. No problem, don't worry. And I was like, oh man. And immediately I thought to myself, uh, I thought, this is not the kind of, I mean, you know, I could have just went, rolled with it and had some fun. But I was like, Ugh. I could, it, it just, I didn't feel very good about it, you know? And I told the girl, no, 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 no. And then, you know, shortly thereafter, me and the girl stopped seeing each other. And I always remember that girl because I remember how how poor her family really was. And, you know, most guys are, I mean, you're talking about, it's not even in the village where there's a bunch of houses. It's past the village and there's like no houses. It's like one of those little shacks, basically, that's out in the rice fields. That's kind of what it was just a little bit bigger. And I always, after that, I always thought, oof. And then you got the guy that I'm, I was talking about before from Australia who, 
went to Phuket and he's got this girl and you know she's like oh oh I never did this before and then he was surprised when uh, he was getting married and some guy got drunk this is in Thailand and some Thai guy got drunk and hit on his mother and he said something to the girl and the girl's like oh never mind you don't know Thai people now I can tell you <laughs> that that's not how the majority of Thai people think uh, but that's you know that should be that's a huge a huge warning sign a huge warning sign really that's massive <laughs> and the fact that she worked in a massage parlor and even came anywhere near your privates that's another huge warning sign absolutely massive red flag so um, yeah, I said already, they are wired differently. Same wants, different ways about getting what they want. Now, one more that some guys may dispute. Not every one of the girls is a how. In the sense of you go, you give her money, you, you do your thing and you give her money. Um, they're not all like that. They're not all, you can walk up to any girl on the street, she's gorgeous, and you go, uh, hey, honey, uh, you know, I got 5,000 baht here. Some chicks, you know, if, they've, if, they've, if they're studied and they've got some class and they've been around the block, uh, and, it, you know, let's say that they're a little bit, we'll say they're 27, 28, um, they may just start speaking to you in English and say, what the fuck do you think, man? What do you think? What are you thinking? Like, you know, if I'm gonna screw you, I'm gonna screw you because I want to. Not because you're gonna throw me 5,000. I don't need your money. That's how some of them think, you know, for sure. If you go to the, if you go to the places that pat the, uh, the tourist areas, the, the red light districts, of course, you know, don't ever think that the, 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 the little intro girl, the little hello girl, isn't up for grabs. She's up for grabs, you know. Now they may tell you, she, she may say she's not. It may take some persistence. It may be that she doesn't want you. So really, here's, I think this adds up to 12, if I can add correctly. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't add this last one. I haven't said this last one yet. And that is just be the man. Don't, don't kowtow and be, you know, oh, I gotta be so respectful because she's this and she's that. You know, you gotta be respectful, but be the freaking man. Don't be a little, I think there's a reason why some of the girls end up with certain guys here, and it's because they don't want really effeminate men. They want manly men. That's what they want. They don't want effeminate men. And everywhere you look, there are you can find effeminate Thai men. Not that all of them are like that, but be the man. When she says to you, up to you. It's up to you where we go. Okay, it's up to me. And then if she starts bitching, go, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you asked me, I told you, end of story. That's it. She's asking you to be the man, basically. Make the decisions. I don't want to have to think about it. So. To summarize, number one, and these are not necessarily in any particular order. Uh, number one, it's business. Don't get emotionally involved. Number two, have boundaries. Number three, be capable of saying no. Number four, be the man. Number five, Separate your emotions from reality. Number six, remember that this is Thailand. This is not your home country. They don't do everything like you do back home, whether you think it's right or wrong. And I always bring up this story where I was, uh, I was photographing uh, a fight at Lumpini Stadium, and I had my press card and everything. I was up on the ring apron, 
was actually lying on the ring apron, which is what a lot of guys will do. Um, and some girls started, some Western girls started to come up to the ring, and the guy kept telling her, "No, no, you can't touch, you can't be on, on the ring." And she was getting pissed, and I, I finally I turned to her and I go, "He's saying you can't come on the ring." She's like, "Why?" I'm like, "Cause you're a woman," <laughs> which you know I, I I said with great glee, "You're a woman." You're not allowed to touch the ring. Well, why not? That's bullshit. She just went off. I go, listen, these, this is their country, not yours. If you don't like it, get back home. Get on the road, honey. This is how it is. So this is Thailand. Uh, number seven, you will always be an outsider here. Doesn't matter if you're a tourist or an expat, you're always gonna be an outsider. Now you can, you can work your way in uh, and you know, you can assimilate into the into the uh, country, and in, in many cases, it's not going to matter that you are not a Thai. But when it comes down to us or them, well, then maybe it will matter. You know, it really just depends. Um, okay, aggression is a last resort. Remember that. I don't care if you're a big bad, you know six foot two, 250, and you think you're a badass, there's no reason to get aggressive, and there's no reason to intimidate them and, and try to, because you're not gonna win. They will eventually win. One way or the other, they will win. <laughs> you know, it's very easy to spot you. In most cases, foreigners can be spotted quite easily. Um, so, there's no reason to get aggressive. No, and, and that's not really in their nature unless you piss them off. And if you get them past that point, then they will be extremely aggressive. Uh, number nine, no drugs. I should, th this is something I shouldn't even have to say. And the reason is because it's illegal and I, not necessarily because I agree with it. I don't agree with it. I think, you know, weed should be legalized. I think they should reconsider certain drugs and how they're dealt, how the people they're dealt with that are using. Uh, but here, you run the risk of a large fine, uh, you know, maybe a beat down, maybe, uh, and being incarcerated. Number 10, be decent. You are not better than them. Don't think that, you know, you happen to be better than them and all that. Um, I went, you know, I have to go back to be the man. I know some people who, because they want to be so polite here, they almost lose their manliness, you know. They start speaking very softly. Hop, hop, oh, hop, hop. And they, they, just, they just completely lose who they are because they're trying to be so uh, uh, polite, you know, which is a good thing to be polite, of course. Here, that is... Uh, you'll get a lot farther being polite than you will with aggression. So, remember that. You know, it's the old saying, uh, you get more flies with sugar than you will with vinegar. Uh, be decent, you are not better. Okay, number 11, just think of it this way. They are wired differently. They might be a street light it's red, yellow, and green, but it, somehow it's wired differently. Things are different, but you still see the red, yellow, and green. That's how I think of it. So the ending, the result might be the same, but the way they go about things might be different. So I think that's important to, to uh, remember. Uh, and finally, last but not least, and uh, you know, listen, uh, I'm not one of these guys who thinks all women are whores. Uh, and in Thailand, you know, granted, you can you can go with women, you can pay money and make it easy, and they'll go away, and you know, you have your fun, and that's it. But there are some that, you know, they still uh, have some tradition and a traditional outlook, and they they want their man to be good to them and to take care of them and to be sweet to them and all this kind of stuff might not mean that they don't want to get laid, but they may not want to take your money in order to have sex. They might have sex with you if they really like you, <laughs> and then they'll take the money, but, you know, I think you get what I'm getting at here. 
so those are my 12, these are 12 of my rules. These are not all the rules. There are considerably more, I'm sure, but these are the 12 that I came up off the, uh, they, I came up with off the top of my head. So there you go. 12 rules to remember, 12 rules to live by when coming to Thailand. I think just being decent, that covers everything. All right, so I think it's about time to get out of here, but I need to ask, let me see here. One cup, one cup. Go see con go, but keep on. Blue, man. Sip on crumb. Okay, cup one. Oh yeah, there's uh, lovely flowers behind me. Yeah, that's even better, huh? Looks like I looks like I'm on uh, what is that show? Uh, two ferns? Is that what it is? Uh, if if you really want to get uh, if if you're a woman and you want to get hot, I don't really understand it, but. This guy named Andy Rubin, I guess he was the CEO of Google. He had a, see this is what I'm not sure of. He had a sexual misconduct claim. That doesn't mean he was found guilty of it. It doesn't mean anything. It, it might mean that a woman filed a claim against him. It doesn't mean that, it, that he's guilty of it. I'm having a little bit of a problem here with the uh, 4G. Uh, is it, It's the verbiage that's used. Why is it always that the man was doing this and it was a claim or it was alleged and he gets let go of his, from his job? Now, granted, I understand sometimes they're like, eh, let's just say, I'll, I'll leave, I'll resign and don't get further into it and a woman's okay with it. Maybe that's it. But I, and I also told the story of a woman uh, and Blondie made a song with her name, it's not about her, but it was called Maria, who, I used to work at this place, and I worked at the, the print shop, which was away from this place. And this lady, who was like the second or third in command, I think she was third in command, behind the owner and his wife, uh, there was a guy who ran the production department at this place, who I met because I went on a cruise that was part of my package at the company. Was, uh, I, got a, I got a certain amount every year in bonuses and I got a, uh, a free cruise to Mexico and all this kind of stuff. So I met him on the cruise, but I knew of him. And then after I left, a few years later, he alleged that she was holding his job uh, over her head or over his head she was holding or whatever however you want to put it uh, she was forcing him to have sex with her and so he sued her and he won so it doesn't just only happen with men after the women and I think you know I think things have gotten a little bit carried away now but let's get out of here, shall we? It's 10.15, it's probably gonna take me 10, 15 minutes to walk there. So let's go out and see what we got outside. I think he sued both.
let's see here. Let's take a look around here. You can see that this this uh, sky train is going to help a lot. All this traffic. Here we go. James Korean. How about Longhorns Korean? Villa Market. Well, I was going to walk down to the Moon Crypto and NFT Cafe. I don't know if I will, though. Maybe I'll walk down there and just check it out from the outside, see how it looks. Gennaro, we're, I'm nowhere near that. I am far away, my friend. Far, far away. This is a predominantly Muslim area. Go. Longhorns, Korea, Korea, Korea. It's all Korea. Look at that over there. Korea up on the Paradise, Korea. It's not the greatest area for walking, but you know, it's not that far. It's only a couple minutes up ahead. <laughs> let's get some halal food yeah let's do that paradise park that's where we are so look it up on your map and you know exactly where I am And here is the Cough Station, which is a coffee and bakery. Coffee shop slash bakery, I believe. Take a little look in there. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. I'm gonna give a big shout out to Muhammad. I don't have any uh, sponsors named Mohammed, interestingly enough. Shall we go walking around through here? <coughs> Why not? Let's check it out. Oh, look, the Ferrand's coming. <laughs> uh. 
let's check it out. Eh. A person starts to live when he can live outside himself. Will you love me, marry you me? No. All right. You know how I know the mask is no good? Because I can smell everything. This place is dead. Never been there before. I would remember that place. Kim Duck Noodle. I don't know why I'm walking back here. Just to show you the real Thailand. Here. Humid, rainy, and overcast for the most part. However, Today, uh, it's not as humid. Ooh, pork shop. It's been getting hotter. Ooh, I need to take a leak, huh? You could go right in here, but you guess what? You gotta pay. Pay to get in. Three baht. Okay, so this is Usat, Usat Market, Talat Usat, which I did not know the name of this place. But now I do. <laughs> what is it with you guys in the coconuts? I think you just like me to say coconuts because it's like, Look at her coconuts. She's got great coconuts. Those are the biggest coconuts I've ever seen. She's got some gargantuan coconuts. You see? You see how easy that is? <laughs> All right, check it out here. There's another cafe, Amazon. You can never get enough coconuts. I want to fill my face with coconuts. Here's the driving range. Back here. I don't know what they're doing. Sometimes it takes 
it takes banging a couple coconuts together to really get through to make something happen. You gotta bang two coconuts together to make something happen. Ugh. That's a bit of a stretch. to get hot now. All right, so we're here. This is Prawet. Prawet in Krunthe. Mahana Kon. So it should be open in a few minutes, but I'm gonna walk down a little ways. I can get down at the end over here. I can get in at the end. Like they might be open already. Yep. These sidewalks, you got to be careful. It's a very long mall, like I said, so I'll just keep walking for a little bit. It's uh, ET, not IT. See, I believe this is the middle here. Oh, these people are still waiting to get in. Well, it is 10:30 on the dot, so let's see if they let them in. And here's Robbie Sun. All right, they're letting him in, so it's open now. Now, Longhorns, if you're still here and listening, there is a Monato in Seacon Square, I believe. Monato is the nice Japanese food, Japanese restaurant that uh, I like to go to with the girl with the pink and green and blue and whatever is the color of the day hair. I want to just take a quick look and see, is this cafe any different than any other cafe? I mean, it is a crypto cafe. Seen one, you've seen them all. All right, can I get out of here? I believe I can. Let's just walk over here.
So they're all standing in attention, just like in the mall Bonkapi, where they do that. the deuce it up here. Deuce it princess. pretty dead at this place. place is supposed to be over here somewhere but I'm not about to go walking everywhere to find it uh, here's a dog toilet right up here I believe this is it right here there's a coffee shop right here right by the dog toilet <laughs> oh god no this is not the same one This is Holly's coffee, but there we go. I've never seen a dog toilet before. get out of here I wonder if this is really open let us find out just to see I don't see the crypto place though oh it's right down there there it is right there all right I'm gonna have to go this way As I walk through the dog waste area. <laughs> Pet relief stick. That's so funny. Oh, here's the dog right here. Maybe he's taking a break after taking a dump. Here's the cops right here. station I wonder if you're allowed to pay with crypto to get a coffee here if this is indeed the moon crypto cafe oh it's a college not coffee <laughs> oh god dusatani college
I thought it said coffee. That shows you how good my eyes are. Let's go up here. I see the word hostile up ahead. All right, this is an entrance. So if I don't see it up here, I'll just walk back, which I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. I'm not gonna go hunting for it any, any longer. Oh well, two out of three. I've not had breakfast or lunch, so maybe that's the next step. Hopefully I can get in here without Yes, I can. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Seacon Square entrance. How does that work? Look at this. I don't know what this is. Huh. All right, well, time to get through here. It's the heat is increasing very quickly. See these? You don't you don't trust them. Never trust them. Yeah, there you go, well. Big city Bangkok. Same Los Angeles, same same but different. See if we can get into yo-yo land up here shit how do we get in this fucking place leave it to me to not be able to find Seacon Square. <laughs> it's right in front of me. Yeah, but I don't know how to get in.
to figure this out, huh? Now I don't want a coffee, I want a cold drink. Here we go. Over here. Thumbs up for making it to Seacon Square. Not get too lost. You know it's gonna be cool in here. Oh yeah. Actually, not really, it's not that cool. Shall we take a walk around? This is Thailand. This is Bangkok, Thailand. Seacon Square. This is the Apple dealer, reseller. Let's see if I can get a directory. shut down very few customers I mean it is early they just opened but any ideas boys anybody been here before oh there you go soul grill I think I want to go this way. Hey, here we go. Coffee. Food, photography, coffee. Except I don't see any. I don't see any coffee. Let's go find a little drink shop. Let's go up. Maybe we go up, huh? <clears throat> Gucci. No glasses.
What was that? That's the end of that. There's a coffee shop right there. Beautiful. A, this is a tea place. You got tea. Welcome. Let's go shopping, shall we? Actually, the one thing I need, guess what we got over here? The one thing that I need, which is some paper to print on, you know, A4 paper, I have not seen here yet. And I forgot to get it yesterday when I was out running errands. All right, here we go. Not exactly my first choice. What shall I get? Prawn salad? Nothing healthy to eat, really. Junk, oh, it's junk food. Nice and cool in here. This light is just, it's not cutting it for me. Is anybody still here? Cheesecake? Oof. Oof. It actually sounds pretty good, but I haven't eaten today, and I would like to have something to eat if I'm gonna have cheesecake. Oh, there's a Fuji up there. Sushi joint. Whew. I 
This looks better. Better place to sit right here. Nobody over here other than me. Guess what's over there? <laughs> Tim Hortons coffee shop. Imagine that. Should I go into Tim Hortons with a bottle of Starbucks water? <laughs> and there's a cafe, you know, there's a cafe Amazon over there. Now that I start looking around, there's coffee shops everywhere. There's Auntie Anne's, which has great hot dogs with uh, pretzel, hot dogs in a pretzel. So, where were we before I had to take that lengthy, rather intrusive walk? Whew. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to those just joining us. Appreciate everybody watching. There's the Vista Cafe up ahead there. See that right there? Vista Cafe, right above Tim Hortons. So, plenty of coffee shops here in Seacon Square. Yeah, you know, the thing about shopping malls, most of the time you see one, you see them all. You know, I don't want to sound negative. Maybe I've been in enough shopping centers where I'm just not that impressed very often. In Icon Siam, the bottom or the ground floor is set up like old Thailand. And they have little waterways and stuff like that. Okay, that's kind of impressive. Other than that, like, they got the same shops in almost every single mall. So how impressive is it going to be? You know, it's functional, which is what uh, a shopping center is supposed to be. You come in, you buy your stuff, and you get out. Or you come in, you're streaming, you buy a water, buy a coffee, and you, you get on out the door. Surely Tim Hortons has a croissant. I would like a croissant. And I have never been to Tim Hortons. So, it's a good reason to go there, eh? Plus, it'll give me a reason to get out of here and go walk. been discussing today what you need to remember when you come to Thailand whether you're a tourist or you are an expat there are certain things you need to remember and if there's something I didn't say on that list please bring it up feel free to bring it up um, they have Tim Hortons here and I'm going to go over there right now I'm going to go over there in about 
one or two sips. <sighs> the end. Let's get out of here, shall we? I have a little more class than walking into Tim Hortons with a uh, Starbucks bottle or going into McDonald's with a uh, some Burger King uh, fries or something like that. I like to think of it as class. Anyway, let's get out of here. That was quick. Down that water very quickly. You know, this ain't a bad Starbucks, really. Outdoor seating, indoor seating, it's not bad. It's like every Starbucks, though, you know? All of them are alike. What you remember is that outside of Bangkok and the other tourist area, many things are different. Well, yeah. Um, if you, you come to, to Bangkok and you don't go anywhere and you've never been anywhere aside from, you know, Starbucks, which it may seem like I'm in Starbucks all the time, but uh, I've been to many, many places in, in Thailand. And here's Virasu, which is the, it's a appliance store which Vista Cafe is the coffee shop that's inside of there. Here's, what is, oh, this is Cafe Amazon. But most definitely, uh, get out of the tourist areas. Uh, some of the tourist areas and some of the people in the tourist areas tend to be a little more jaded. If you remember, when I was walking across Thailand. I was in Pajuk Kiri Khan and I was just dying from the heat. It was so hot. And this lady was selling dragon fruit. And she, I said to her, oh, I'd like to buy one of those. She goes, no, 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 no. Oh, here we go, gold. She said, no, 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 no. And she ended up giving me like four dragon fruit, four pieces of fruit. And I scarfed them all down. I mean, oh, so all they have is donuts. Espresso. Shit, I'm gonna have to pay with the, the card, I guess. What else they got here? Oh, they have croissants right here. Croissants here, 55 baht. Croissants at Starbucks, 75 baht. Donuts look pretty good, though. Tiramisu donut. Ooh. They have a cheesecake donut? pretty good to me, huh? Specialty beverage. No, I don't want any of this ice stuff. Ooh, they got all this food. Grilled wraps. Ooh, panini. Pulled pork, cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomatoes. It looks pretty good. So what do you have? Come eat chuk yang, My me panini. I'll get the donuts. My belay, my belay. Uh, 
call tiramisu tiramisu donut uh look all chocolate glazed uh look all espresso lawn Right, done deal. Top of my cup. All right, let's go chill. I feel like a cop. Coffee and donuts. I'm gonna try the tiramisu. All right, let's see. Anybody talking here? Anybody saying anything? I really want to do that walk if you care to do it again. Yeah, I, I, I may do that again. I, that's that's not too, uh, not all that hard really. Um, it was hard the way I did it, because <laughs> I didn't know where the hell I was going. Uh, I think it was only like 20 kilometers or something like that, but I walked like, it was for me, it was like 50, something like that. No, it was uphill a lot of the way. On the way back, it was downhill. And the little guy gave me a ride on the motorbike. <laughs> the little drunk guy, he was smashed the guy. He was, he was on, I don't know if he was just on booze or what he was on, but he was completely smashed. Give me one of these doodads. Anyway. So it's been a uh, lovely morning. You know, it's a little something different. I haven't been here. Uh, the next place I'll be going, uh, probably next week that I'll be going, is Future Park. Because I have not been there also since I think, right? Well, I don't know how long it's been now. It's been a long time. So you mapped out a route once all you went both ways. I was going to turn the house the border crossing. Oh uh, no, I went from the beach. Yeah, I went from the beach to the border and then back. Uh, I didn't start out because it says, you know, like at the top, if you remember, it says the narrowest point in Thailand. And so I wanted to reach that to be able to say. I did it. I got here. You know, uh, hindsight is twenty twenty. Though, so is navigation. When you're, you know, when you're looking, well, yeah, hindsight is twenty twenty. I don't know. Uh, maybe because this place is dead. I, you know, I like the Mall Bankabi. Now, granted, they got this place and they got donuts, but they got Krispy Kreme and uh, they got Krispy Kreme in, in the Mall Bankabi, you know. So, here you go, Gennaro. Gennaro's barista. I don't know what they're doing here. Anyway. 
Mega Bang Na is entertaining. I thought I was buzzing. Let's see here. Regulars, you mean in the chat? Well, they were here for a while, but I think you know most people stay an average of about 25 to 30 minutes in the streams. Each each particular person, that's the average. Uh, I'm not a real fan of Bang Na, to be honest. It's it's big, and you know they got a lot there, but I don't know. I like the Moon Bunker because I'm. I'm comfortable there. It's where everybody knows my name, you know? All right, here we go. Tiramisu. Mm. Tiramisu Donut from Tim Hortons. Ah, he missed out. And they're all over here. There's, I mean, listen, there's all kinds. If he, if he was had his eyes open, he would see. Here's all, anywhere they're shopping, there's women. Tastes kind of like coffee, not so much tiramisu. Mm. Good enough. Oh, it's because they put coffee beans. Let's try this. Uh, let's try this coffee out. See how Tim Horton stacks up to Starbucks, Cafe Amazon. I think it's better. <laughs> it's smoother. It's smoother than Cafe Amazon for sure, and it's, I think it's better than Starbucks. There's some filling in that. That's pretty good. How much was that? Sixty-five baht. It's not bad. Sixty-five baht for an espresso that is better than uh, Cafe Amazon and better than. Starbucks. The donut could be better. So. mall that really has just enough for me, the Mall Bucket is fine. Uh, if you want a higher end mall, you go to Emporium, you go to <coughs> M48, you know, you go one of those places. tiramisu donut and it's very very dry 
sticks to your throat. <coughs> I'm not a fan of the donut. Let's see about this one. Chocolate. but it's okay. Anyway. I think it's about time to say goodbye. Hopefully you learned a little bit. It all boils down to really to one thing. Let's be decent. Don't get drunk and make an ass out of yourself and start getting mouthy in a bar. It's a good way to get the shit kicked out of you, get thrown in jail. Uh, I mean, you know, and don't don't bitch and moan about ten bot with the uh, taxi driver or something like that. Because that's a good way to get to get the machete pulled on you. It's common sense, but nowadays, and I want to do a little video on this, uh, but it sure seems that common sense is in short supply. So, <clears throat> I think a lot of people are going to start coming over here the next couple of months. There apparently are people chomping at the bit to get over here. I don't know where they're coming from. Maybe Russians. I don't know. But... There are people waiting to come over here. They're they're ready. And some people are willing to overlook whether it's a one day and five day test or just a one day test. Some people, are, they're willing to say, oh, that's not too bad. <clears throat> to me, anything that is different from before all this started is too much. You want it to go back to like before, then you it's got to be exactly the same. I, I even feel for the people who are like, I don't want to get vaccinated. At this point, enough people should be vaccinated that people are safe. And there are enough countries open. And you know, if you're older, if you've got medical conditions, then maybe you need to wear a mask, you need to be vaccinated, you need to take all these precautions. But if you've already done all this and you're healthy, it's time. I believe it's time. And I, I believe the ties will see the light in, I'm gonna say three months. So it's February, March, April. I said April, but we'll say May. So, anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Appreciate it. Do me a favor, leave a uh, thumbs up. Subscribe, remember to subscribe if you could do so. Oh, well, that's good. Got that out of the way. Uh, but yeah, leave a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And uh, consider joining my channel. 
Uh, every Friday, I have a little video going up, a little members-only video going up, and sometimes other stuff. Uh, but the, the uh, it's only a buck ninety-nine. I'm trying to hit fifty people, so uh, if you can, if you can do so, I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, keep watching. Check down the description. Get one of my books. Go to Amazon. Uh, get a T-shirt. I got a hoodie available now. It's thirty-nine ninety-nine for the hoodie. Got printing on the front, printing on the back. Good quality stuff. So yeah, uh, lots of ways to help out. Lots of ways to consider, or lots of ways to. Uh, people just starting to come in now. Uh, what was I trying to say here? Lots of good stuff coming up. A variety of things. Now this place is really picking up, so I'm going to say that much like the Mall Bunkaby, although the Mall Bunkaby was quite a bit busier than this right when they opened, but now there's a considerable amount of people coming in here. Uh, anyway, where am I going to be next? What's today, Wednesday? I don't know, Friday or Sunday, we'll have another stream. I don't know if I'll be out, if I'll be by the river, if I'll be on the canal. I don't know where I'm going to be. But uh, stay tuned and consider subscribing. Click the notification bell. And until next time, Thank you very much. I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok. Choke the Leo Jerk and Mai. That's good luck and see you later. Jim, I'm sure you're counting the days.